Many years, San Francisco's Castro District celebrated Halloween, but in 2006, that all ended when nine people were hurt in a mass shooting. Tonight, holiday festivities returned to the area for the first time in 17 years. KTV's Joey Horder shows us how this year's celebration is different. We're up in the projector room with these great big machines showing the Rocky Horror Picture Show tonight in the Castro Theater. And this year, Halloween in the Castro is more about the kids. I'm having fun. Kids of all ages decked out in their costumes for the relaunch of Halloween in the Castro. I think there's no better place in America to celebrate Halloween than the Castro. Halloween has never completely gone away from San Francisco's LGBTQ district. But this is the first big event in 17 years. Nine people would be injured in a mass shooting in 2006. Olivia Hart was there. I was a, about a block or so away. I heard it, the commotion, the streets were cleared. We lost our fun. Hopefully tonight we get it back full force. By 2007, the bash would become more of a bar hopping event along with heavy police presence. Manny Yukutiel is the driving force behind the effort to bring the community back together. This really was a project of unity that brought together so many different organizations that are interested in making the Castro the greatest place it can be. Merchants are benefiting from the turnout. People are out in full force and um, we're jumping and it's very good. At the heart of it all, the century old Castro Theater showing Halloween classics like Hocus Pocus. We caught up with the stars of the movie, the Sanderson sisters in the flesh. And there's no magic spell to pull off this look. Uh, two hours and a lot of makeup. <laughs> That's, you know, what Halloween really is about, is candy, going out door to door, having that fun with your kids. More than 40 Castro businesses opened their doors for this event. And the Civic Joy Fund is planning to donate more than $100,000 back to them. In the Castro, Joey Horta, KTVU, Fox 2 News.